it seemed like early in the game you guys were maybe a, a little flustered against their zone and weren't really attacking it like you should have. What 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 was happening there? What turned that around? Um, I feel like we just got a little too hyper. Um, I just was telling them we just need to calm down and just look for the open gaps and the open people. Um, stop panicking when they see the trap coming. Um, I feel like that's what we were doing. So, I mean, we just had to slow it down and take our time. Obviously, with the one three one, the the baseline is going to be open, and when you started hitting some of those shots, that really would get you going. Um, yeah, I feel like um, a lot of the time since the forwards are playing up so high that we could probably just go baseline, especially since we were most more than, like more faster than them. On the, our guards were faster than their forwards, so I mean that was really open a lot. Is your favorite thing on the court when when you get the ball in the open court? You're going down. There's maybe one or two people there. Is that is that your favorite? Yeah, thing? probably. I would say. Um, I've been doing that since I was little, like going on fast break. So I mean, I'm kind of used to it now with the defenders being there and stuff. So it just it just fits me. Yeah. How much of a load does that take off you when? You got reliable scorers off the bench, and albeit some of these girls are pretty young and they're scoring at a pretty good rate. Uh, how much does that help you out? Um, it helps me out a lot. They're great players, like I said, in starting with me and coming off the bench. And it's a great that we have people coming off the bench this year that can contribute to help us score and play defense as well. So I feel like it's a, it's a great help. You've got 18 wins right now, which is as many wins as you had going into the WNIT last year, believe, believe it or not. Uh, I, I know at the beginning of the season you had a good feeling about this team, but have, have, have you, has this team maybe even exceeded your expectations right now? Um, I would I would say um, I wasn't sure how the season was going to go, considering we had so many new players and everybody wasn't used to Coach Carey's um, defense yet and just learning all his new offices. So I just feel like we came a long way, and we're still working as as his days is here. Um, I mean, we still have a lot of work to do, but like I said, we take it step by step, day by day in practice, and work on things we need to work on, especially um, his defense. You're used to playing in this Play for K event every year. Uh, what does it mean to you? And, you know, that seemed like a pretty good crowd out there, everybody rocking pink. Um, it means a lot, and one of my favorite colors is pink. So, I mean, <laughs> just seeing that, um, it's a good cause for a good, a great cause, I meant. So, I mean, just seeing all those people out here and supporting us and just having all pink to support the cause, is, it's, it's a great feeling. Crowd going to be a big deal here coming down the stretch. You're going to need a lot of fans to, to pack this place. Um, I would say. I mean, our fans are what gets us going, I feel like, in the beginning of the game. And, of course, we get ourselves going, coming out with a lot of energy. But I feel like our fans are a great support. Did you see Liv Segi crawl through Lewis's legs by any chance? No, I actually didn't. But they were laughing about that in the locker room, and I didn't see it. <laughs>